Hello everyone. In the previous session, we set up authorizations on the front end and the back end server, but we were doing it on an individual basis. Obviously, that's going to take a lot of time. So there is a way to do it on, like you can do, uh, set up authorizations for multiple applications in one step. Uh, so this is the system setup that we have. Uh, we have the hub deployment, the front end server and the back end server there on separate systems. So let's see how we can set it up in a uh, in one go. So what we'll do is we'll take the managed sales order applications and if you go to the Fury apps library then you will see that it is part of the business catalog. So let's make a note of this business catalog and let's also make a note of the business role that it uh, that this application belongs to. So our goal is to set up authorizations for multiple applications in one single step. Uh, obviously, uh, you have to do these steps on the front end server separately and on the back end uh, server separately. Uh, we are going to skip these steps, the one that says activating OData services and activating ICF services. I'm going to assume that these OData services and the ICF services are already activated. Uh, so on the front end, the only task that we need to do is we need to assign the business catalog uh, uh, business role to the user. We need to assign the business catalog that we, uh, in the previous step, we said the, the business catalog was SAP SDBC PROS. Uh, so let's go ahead and assign this to our custom role. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so I go into my front end server. So let me pull up my front end server. Yeah, and I go PFCG. And this is a role that we've been using in the previous session, so we'll continue to use this role. Uh, so I will edit this role. And what I want to do is I want to add this catalog to this uh, custom role that we have. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go into the menu tab, uh, go into um, SAP Fury Tile Catalog. And here, what I'll do is I will go ahead and select the catalog that I'm interested in. So I'll, I'll copy this catalog and I can go ahead and plug in this catalog right here. And let's say cancel to this so we don't need to check the application log. Now, what you notice here is it has added uh, the sales order processing. And if you click on it, it says it's a Fury Tile catalog. And if you open it, you will see that it has added all these R3, TR, IWST. And these were those steps that we were doing manually in the previous uh, sessions. So you can see that it has added a whole bunch of uh, R3, T are IWST authorizations. Now, yeah, if you've seen the previous session, we were doing this manually, so it has done all of this in one step. Uh, so let's go ahead and save this. And uh, once you save it, the authorizations also needs to be green. So click on the authorizations tab and let's go ahead and manage, uh, uh, change the authorization data. And let's go ahead and uh, generate the new authorization data. So let's click on generate. And let's go ahead and exit. OK, so now we are good. Uh, so on the front end side, we are good. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to do similar thing on the back end as well. Uh, again, uh, we've already done the RFC authorization, so I'm not going to be doing it in this session. Uh, we just need to assign the business catalog to our catalog, uh, to our role in the back end as well. So now I go to the back end server. Okay, so this is my backend server, so I will do the same thing, PFCG. And here again, we want, I have a, uh, I have a, a role called ZS Demo from the previous session, so I will continue to use that. Now, here's the tricky part, right? So here, I need to go ahead and add the business catalog, just like I did in the front-end uh, server. Uh, so I select the business catalog, uh, the SAP Fiori tile catalog. And now, um, the way I have to add it is it's on a remote front-end server. So I need to click on this remote front-end server. Uh, and then I need 
to supply my RFC destination so that it, the back end can connect to the front end. Um, so let me quickly cancel out of this and I'll show you how I can find my RFC destination. So let me quickly go outside of this. We'll come back and add it again, but uh, right now I'll show you how to see the um, see the RFC destination. So the transaction code that you will use is SM59. So click SM59 and this shows all your RFC connections. And we are looking at ABAP connections and uh, this is uh, the, R, uh, the connection that goes to my um, to my front-end server, so we are on client 100. So I will go ahead and make a note of this RFC connection. So I believe I have it already here. So this is the RFC client that I'm interested in. So I will go back to PFCG transaction code, and this time I will go ahead and use this RFC connection to add the catalog. So I will go into menu here and I will go ahead and say SAP Fiori Tile Catalog and I will choose the remote front end server because I'm in a hub deployment and uh, the catalogs reside in the front end server. So this is the RFC client that I need to use and the catalog ID itself is going to be this. So I will copy this and I will go ahead and paste it in here and I will save it. And again, let's uh, go ahead. I think I've already added this before, but let me delete this guy. So if I open up this, uh, the thing that I added, you will see that you see all this IWSV and these, uh, if you saw the previous session, uh, these were the authorizations we were adding manually, but now you can see that it, you can add all of this in one go. Um, so it's good to know the other way also, uh, but uh, if you're going to do it in a mass scale, then this is a much better option. Uh, so this is what we added in the previous session. We were adding it separately. So right now we've added all these IWSVs for all the applications in that catalog. So let's go ahead and save it. And also we would need to make sure the authorizations are good. Let's go ahead and save it. Let's. Uh... Okay, so the reason it, the authorizations didn't change was I probably had that uh, catalog before. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and just do it uh, for uh, complicity's sake. I will go ahead and generate the profile. I will save it and I will exit. Okay, so I think we are good on the front end and the back end server. So it was uh, just a matter of adding the business catalog uh, to your custom role. Okay, now let's go ahead and test if this uh, if the authorizations work. So I'm going to log in as demo two user, and let me log in as uh, demo two user, and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and go to the manage sales orders. Uh, and you can already see that it is pulling up the tile information, zero records. Uh, so at least it's able to get the information. There's no data in the back end, but at least this is good. And let me also pull up, uh, let me say go. Let's see if it pulls up any data. There's no data, but it's, it's not erroring out. And let's look at the, uh, let's hit go again. And you can see that it's doing the patch and you can see that there is no data, but it's 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 uh, 200 OK. So uh, everything is working fine. And this is uh, a faster way of uh, uh, setting up authorizations for multiple applications in one single step. OK, thank you.